be on? Hello. Hi, everybody. Happy crafting. It's nine o'clock. It's Friday night. And it's time to craft with me. Yay. That should be a message too. No? Need some work. <laughs> What's up with that? What's that message mean? Eh, later. Hey, guys. Just give us a few moments while we do all the fiddly bits. Get the chat up and running. I hope you've had a wonderful week. Boom, this one. It's obviously decided to do something anyway. Anyway, hey everybody. Have you had a fabulous week? Craig's just trying to get the, uh, the comments up. I can't see them at the moment, so I'll catch up whenever he manages uh, to uh, be successful there. But I wanted to start tonight by showing you my cards because um, do you remember, was it last week? Maybe even before that, then I mentioned that I was going to try to be crafty every single day. And that was the game. That was the game. That was the aim um, to, <laughs> um, to try and kickstart my mojo a little bit more because I've not really been feeling very crafty. And um, it has been helping. It has like I've been having a lot more ideas and things, which is really cool. Um, but I wanted to go through some of these cards because um, although I intended to do the odd stream here than everywhere, it just doesn't always happen because maybe the, the um, washing machine is on, which means it's really noisy or the dog's barking and people come and people are in the gardens and whatever. So I can't always do streams, but um, yeah, I wanted to quickly run through these and then uh, crack on in with tonight's stream because I have a plan for tonight's stream to make an interactive card. Um, but it's an interactive card. Basically, uh, it's based on a die that a company makes. But I don't think, well, I think I can make it without the die. But that's why I think with all interactive cards. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give it a go. Maybe it won't work. Who knows? But it's going to be fun. Hi, Tiffany. Hello. And Elaine's here as well. Hi, Elaine. Pam is here. I made it this week. <laughs> Thank goodness it's Friday, says Tiffany. Yay. Ophine well, is here. Hello, hello. And Carol as well. Hey, your comments are just coming through. Yay. All right. So I think this was maybe the first one. Just in case you're wondering, I am I'm posting these um, every day on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might want to do that. It's Hungry Heffy is my handle. Um, and for this one, I created a background using some um, color bursts. And this one actually was a live stream. So if you're interested, you can go and have a look. Um, this method or technique was a live stream. It wasn't this card. This was actually, um, thanks, Peggy. I made, I made a card on the stream and then I had another piece of card which had mopped up all the liquidy inky stuff um, and I said oh I might make a card with this and I did uh, exactly the same layout and format um, just different color theme which is really cool um, so this one here I inked up a background made it nice and colory um, and then I embossed in clear the flowers and once it was embossed and clear that's locking in that color it's not going to be able to change anything underneath where the stamped image is that's now locked in and then I added the purple on top which is why we have these multi-tonal lines I think it looks really cool and then for my birthday bless her Piper um, made me this little clay pot and as well as clay pot um, in some sort of a kit that she got whether it was a craft kit or maybe it was the clay kit I'm not sure she had a bag tiny bag of silver glitter and she said I think you would like this mummy so um, I used the silver glitter from that on this hopefully you can see it's actually super shiny it it's a little bit chunky in places you can it kind of looks furry on the camera the the fangs but it is really really glittery which is cool this was another uh, stream and um this one was made using oh what do you call them create a smile create a smile stamps 
and um, it's a really cute bear and then you have all the different clothes to go with it and I just did a very simple inked blended background and I think I actually made the blended background the same night that I did this because I wanted I wanted to start with a teal color and then I changed my idea and went with a pink so I made the blended background on the, the stream last week and then the sentiment in the middle is from the heavy doodle quack me up set this one here then it's so sad <laughs> Um, because Ranger dismantled it. It did look like this once upon a time. It had sort of the rainbow, the rainbow ink down the side. Uh, Donna says, hi everybody, and yells, yells you, hey. Uh, Sarah Louise is out, Sarah Louise, your um, package got posted today, way. Um, and Pam says, I love that heart background stencil. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this, we've got the rainbow effect on the side, and then can you see the hearts in the background, the shiny hearts? And then I went for the rainbow strips. So my actual sentiment was rainbow effect as well, but he chewed the top here. You can see he's got two marks on it and ripped off my sentiment. What a cheeky boy. Hmm, he's on the floor at the moment looking super cute, so hey ho. Um, then I made this one, which is really fun. I think it looks hilarious. I love it. I wish I was going off on this little um, party, <laughs> going to this party. We've got some Mama Elephant, Heffy Doodle, some Avery L, and all sorts of fun things. This was a hard night. I was feeling very, um, I was feeling lots of pain. So when I'm in pain, I find it really hard to, to craft because it's less, um, I can't really let myself go to the craft. There's, it's always there in the back of my mind. Um, so this one I kind of struggled with, but I just went slow and I put Netflix on in the background. I have this cute little mouse from Unity and then I added the cheese. Um, so, But in the end, I was actually really glad to have something finished. Um, and I think that's something that's really important, guys, is that we have to give ourselves permission just to do whatever. And if it lands in the bin, fine. And like, but also, it not everything has to be, be a piece of art. It has to be a piece of like a masterpiece. So um, I'm I'm I actually I like it because I'm like yes. I finished a card for that day and it was a big achievement for me. Um, but it's probably my least favorite out of all the cards here. Then this one here, and this is kind of a little bit different to my normal um, craftiness. And I, I navigate towards critters. You guys probably figured that out. Um, but I had this piece here that says, oh, it's hard to see. Happy birthday, eat an extra slice of cake for me. And this I have embossed using the um, Wow Embossing Powder Matte. It's like a clear matte finish. So it, it's hard to see on the camera, but it's just because it's so bright. It's actually a bit more like this, a bit more tone on tone in real life. Um, and I wanted to test out the Pixie Spray, which in case you aren't familiar with it, this is it here, Pixie Spray. And it's a repositionable adhesive. Um, that people love to use for stencils and it is marketed for stencils and it works really well. Um, I will say that you cannot get it in the UK because they, they don't, it, basically putting this in an aeroplane, like shipping a box of it, is classified as dangerous goods. So um, it is export restricted. I smuggled mine into my suitcase, which you probably know because you've heard me talk about it. But um, you can get lots of other repositionable adhesives, spray adhesives, at like a normal craft store. So um, if you're interested in, in using Pixie Spray, go and test some of those other ones out because I think it will be just as good, to be honest. Um, I used also a different color palette. I'm also trying to, to use some more colored cardstock. <laughs> We've got the Heffy Doodle cardstock now, um, 12 colors. And I uh, I don't use co colored cardstock enough. So here I've used the Razzleberry, which is a gorgeous pink. And then at the back here, hopefully you can see it's a dark gray. And that is the Holy Mackerel. This one here is the Blueberry Bliss. It's like a navy color. It's gorgeous, really pops. 
And then this one was yesterday's card and um, I've used the Simply Tealicious cardstock. That's this one as well. And that's the Holy Mackerel. So, yay. And this is a little peacock. It's a lawn fawn peacock. And um, I got it at, Crid, at Junkie Fests and I've used, you can't really see, let me see. Can you see the pink clouds in the background? That's the cloudy days, cloudy skies, pardon me, um, stencil from Heffy Doodle, the watch you say and stamp and, and die. And then this scallop rectangle is actually from the Heffy Doodle heart gift pocket um, die set. So there we go. Sarah Louise says, still looks cool though. I think you mean about my chewed up fur car. <laughs> yeah, hey Candy, how are ya? Yay! Donna said, I had that this week too. It's so nice to feel like crafting again. I binned a lot this past week. Yeah. Sometimes I just, I would recommend if you're planning to bend things, is that you um, set them aside and then come back to them because very often with fresh eyes, you can be like, mm -mm. like I've got a, I've got a piece of card over here. I'll show you that I inked up at some point and then I was like, yeah, I don't like it. It looks really muddy, but you know, for a fall card, this would be beautiful with gold embossing or even like die cut into like little leaves and things. So it's living over here at the side and I'll come back to that sometime. <laughs> Candy says, one of my favorite stencils. Oh yes, that's the scribble on my heart. Stencil by Happy Daughter, yay. The only thing is it is really fine. It's a bit like the bubble wave stencil. It is really fine. So you have to kind of go slow when you're inking it, but that's why the pixie spray was perfect. Yay. Uh, Donna says, I'm coloring critters right now. Some happy puppies. Yay. And Francie's here. Hey, Francie. All right, cool. So um, have you guys seen the, um, the dye that is from, I think it's from Mama Elephant and I'm trying to remember what it's actually called it's like it's like a spin reveal or something like that it's called I think it's a circle and then you spin it round to reveal um, like a peekaboo thing behind I'm not explaining it very well but um, hopefully hopefully uh, it'll all come together so anyway, um, I was looking at the die, or actually was looking at a project made with the die, and I thought that's a very interesting idea. Um, and I love it whenever dies makes things easy, but at the same time, I feel like um, a lot of things could actually be, um, be made without the die. Um, so, I am going to just give it a test run, to be honest. So with the actual, um, it's, kind of, it's gonna be really hard to explain the mechanism. They have a, like a larger circle. I think there's a scalloped as well for the outside. And then they have a smaller circle that goes kind of inside it like this. But their one has a tab coming out the side here. Um, I'm just going to stick a tab onto mine. I'm not going to uh, worry about the fact that this one doesn't have a tab. So we'll, we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll just move on to something else. Yay. No, no, not the Lawn Fawn. It's not the Lawn Fawn reveal wheel. Um, it's a different one. I should have really told you what it was, but. It'll all come together. So, what I do need is, um, I've got a piece of white cardstock and also a piece of copy paper because for, um, for this, I need to find the center points in order to do some cutting to these elements. So the plan is, um, because I've got one in card and I've got one in paper, 
what I'll be able to do, hopefully, if it works out, is use the the paper one to help me find like the center points and things. So first things first, this one is easier. So for the circle, I'm gonna fold it in half like this. Ooh. Fancy says, seems like you've been busy crafting. I love all the projects you're doing. Yes, well, I've been trying to do something every day, Fancy, because um, with being, struggling with the pain at the moment, um, I, I'm trying, I've got very, I can't sit down very easily, is part of the problem. Um, and um, drawing the new release is challenging because I need to sit down to draw. But then I'm not motivated. <laughs> so I'm trying to get my crafty mojo back, I'm trying to get uh, ideas and things. And um, I feel like I've, I just feel like I haven't actually done any serious crafting in a long time, crafting for fun. So uh, that's why Craig was like, I think you should just do some crafting just for fun. That's what I'm trying to do. Right, so I've got my copy paper here, which I folded in half. So I've got my center point. And actually, I don't particularly need the center point of this one, but I do need a slit from the edge right to the center. So I've layered these up one on top of the other. And I'm going to just use my big scissors to cut that in. So now I have that right into the middle of a slit like that. Awesome. And I've got one in my template as well. So for this one, Donna says, I like experimenting to see if I can replicate some of the concept dies. Yeah, me too, me too. Loads of the, the dies, loads of the um, interactive things I've done, you guys will know this if you're regular watchers, um, Craig has said to me, oh, you should make a die like that. And my response is always, why would someone want to die like that? It's so easy. <laughs> Um, but then I guess some people want the ease of it and some people don't find it easy to come up with the ideas so you could just do it. Okay so I've got my center point here on this. It's going to be hard for you guys to see maybe if I hold it this way and the idea is if I line up both of these like that I need to be able to cut a slit from here, the center point, to here where that, um, where the edge of my circle will be. Does that make sense? But I need to do it on here. So this is definitely going to be a craft knife situation and I'm going to use some tape to hold these together. I don't know what this is going to turn out like, but we'll see. We'll see. Right, I do need some sort of a some sort of a self-healing mat. I'm trying to see if I've got a small one somewhere that might work. Where would it be? Oh, I don't know. Um. one in here I think my um, 
sort of, this is a tiny one. Uh, I think my sort of, this size of one is probably in my craft tote, but it's probably in the, sh in the shed moment. Francie says, sometimes Mojo plays hide and seek with me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's see what I can do. So the test here is going to be if my circle piece slides through it nicely. Lucy says, I'm quite useless at replicating the concept dies, so watching this video really helped. Thanks for doing the artwork. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so it's quite simple that you want to line this one up like this and slide it in. Can you see like this? No, the idea is that, can you see the way that's twirling around? That's what we want. It's a little stiffy, but we will take care of that. A little powder tool action. And we also need to add a couple of um, like stoppers to it and a little handle. So that's a really thick piece of card. I'm going to pop that up there. And that's a really thin piece of card. I'll pop that in there. Get some card that's sitting in the middle. Oh, Donna says, I believe Hunky Dory also did a die like this. Oh, did they? I didn't know that. I'm just going to cut some um, strips using the Heffy Doodle strips of Ease. don't need them to be the full length so this will do and I might actually use the thicker one for the front of the card stick out a bit so I will go for the long one here. So cool you're so great at interactive card mechanisms. <laughs> yeah I know I need to um yeah Craig keeps telling me I need to make them into dies. Put it this way I find it much easier to <laughs> I find it much easier to um what the idea and make it in paper than to sit in uh, on the computer software and turn it into a time. <laughs> that is way much more work. And it's also kind of sad because um, that hard work is, um, I mean, that takes a lot of time. And then unfortunately the sad reality is with this industry that um, the, the hard work that you do sometimes doesn't matter because um, there is a culture of, of rip-offs in, in the industry where people get the knockoffs, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that. Okay, so I can see that this is closer here than it is there. So I'm trying to figure out what I need to do, whether it's my whether it's my circle that needs a little extra or whether it's the scallop. Mind you, I don't think 
anyone would notice. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to bring this to here and this is going to be, we want, we want to be able to stop it. So you have to have like a stopper, I guess. Depends how far around we want it to go. Like maybe to here. Put it to here. Obviously, if I did it to there, it's gonna it's gonna fall out, isn't it? So we can always change it afterwards. I'm gonna add some powder to these little guys. Get it nice and powdered up. And that will definitely help sliding around. Okay, so that is the EK Success Powder Tool. Let me zoom out so you can see a bit more of what I'm doing. About an hour ago, I was freezing, so I put on this big furry thing. Put this on here. That's it. So white on white. Can you guys even see? I changed my mind again. I'm going to go for a little bit of a thicker card so that it's the same depth as this one. Um, and I'll use the, the middle. Mm, no, that skinny one will be fine. But I definitely want the thicker card, I've decided. Changing my mind. It's my prerogative. <laughs> Hatamuris, hello. I'm gonna have to strip off a bit. Okay, so for this, I actually want to create um, a section which is wider than the radius of my circle. Can you see this is the radius of my circle here? I want to create a piece that is just slightly wider than that. So like here will do. Up. What are you doing awake? Are you yeah? You can say hello. No, that's no, don't do that, please. Thank you. Hello. Why don't you go get the, the chair and bring it over? One second. We have a sneaky pie. Has Sneaky Pie has entered. All right, so we want to add this like that. It needs to be slightly overhanging, but not too much because um, we, I'm going to need to put some like foam tape around on this scallop piece. I don't want that to, to hit the scallop piece. So let's do that. And Sarah Louise says, hey, little mess. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to actually cut some washi tape <laughs> for this. Um. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> Paper, it's not nice to... To uh, talk loud like that into the mic. What hoy mean? Hmm? Hoy? What are you saying? Hoy! Hello. 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 Alright, I'm gonna need to get my head down here, so forgive me a second. 
Why are you not asleep, girl? Yeah, I got this stuff that I, um, um, to get ready for bed. But, um, I've got, um, but there's an elastic, but I took an elastic band and I put it in my glasses case. It's been there for a while. It was something like the first day. Need, um, the girls got an elastic band to put, tie up their hair, but I've kept mine in, in my, um, in my glasses case for ages and ages and ages. Okay. Do you like my glue ball? No. Why? Because it's kind of gross. It's glue. Mm-hmm. And pen. That's it. Mm-hmm. Alright. Blue elastic band. Right, I think you need to go to bed, honey. Da, 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 da. Ooh, it's going to catch up a little bit here. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm trying to make an interactive card. How? There we go. Like this. So you spin it around like that and reveal something underneath. Can you see? Go. Make sense? I think I can move them out here. Oh, you better run. Here, take your glasses, Case. Good night, see you morning. Bye. <laughs> Mega craft, <laughs> says Lenny Gimli. Donna says, I got my tripod and ring light the other day. Good for you. Have to figure out how to position it for overhead shots. Um, in case you're interested, it depends what you're using. I, mean, I use a, um, a ceiling mount because I'm in a, a garage, so I can like, you can see me touch the roof here, that's the roof. So I have a thing that comes down. But also on my desk, I can probably lift this up actually. I have a scissor arm, which is like a, a microphone boom mic thing. And then on the end, I think I just got this of eBay. It's just a camera uh, phone holder thing. And um, it's really useful for overhead because I can just kind of bring it in like this and shoot down. But today I'm using the DSLR on the webcam up here. Yeah. All right. So this is going to go like this and go right again like that. Okay. So this is the concept. So we're also going to add a, a lever to this side like this, which will um, be a handle for someone to to pull it around and in fact i think still think this one is a little bit not sturdy enough so let me get a thicker one after all that silly me ah Lenny is Minecraft, uh, saying Minecrafting. So uh, Piper loves Minecrafting. She was here just a second ago. She will quite happily sit and play Minecraft all day long. And I remember the first time that her and her like, best mate, Sophia, they discovered that they could play Minecraft together, but they didn't need to be in the same house. And they were like, sitting there Craig and Alexia's headphones on, talking to each other, like screaming down the thing, like, how are you? Like, I'm like, you just speak normally, Piper. <laughs> this is so cool. Let's build a tower of sheep. Yeah, <laughs> she's funny. Okay, so this is gonna go here. We're gonna stick that on good and proper. And then that's gonna help twist this around like that. And, and then this piece here will make sure that it doesn't slip out off the slot. Happy days. We're cooking on gas. Okay. So now I want to, what I want to do is actually incorporate it into a card. <coughs> uh, online play asks Lenny game, game, gaming, not gambling. Um, well, it was a private party just between the two of them because they're only eight. And I think at the time they were probably only five or something. Um, so just have a little private party for them. There's too many, uh, there's too many <laughs> um, undetermined things whenever you have uh, online gaming with like, people you don't know. All right, so my plan was 
um, I wanted to have um, a rainbow appear so that you pull this up and a rainbow will appear. That was my idea. So I might need you guys to help walk me through anything or ideas to kind of pull this off. Do you think it would work? So we have this going like that. It'll have to be open a little bit, which is fine. And then we bring it back around like this to create a rainbow. And one of the things that I, one of the dies that I have pulled out was actually this one, which is from Mama Elephant, Rainbow High. And um, so um, I'm gonna die cut this and see. I, don't, I think it's probably gonna be too big, but we'll find out. Let's cut it up. Candy says, hi to Piper, sorry I missed her. Oh, she might turn up again. She's a bit of a monkey at the moment when it comes to going to sleep. Not quite gotten back into the, uh, <laughs> the you know, need to, need to get up early, need to go to bed early for school. Although in saying that, she has a, an inset day. So, no biggie, an inset day on Monday. Okay, so the, we want to be able to have, so there's two ways we can do this actually, now that I think about it. We could either have the, um, we have it like this, and we bring the rainbow out, and the rainbow is on this area. That's one way we could do it. Or we could have it where it's like this, and then we do, 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 do and expose the rainbow. In fact, we'll probably have it with this gap coming down to like four o'clock so that when you do this, the full rainbow was there. We can do like that. Do, 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 do. So there's no rainbow and then do, 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 do. there is a rainbow. So either way, if we do it, we have to make sure that the, the element is behind or within this circle here. Hopefully you can see. Let me put something between behind this so you can see. Um, and this one is too big. So I think I'm just going to cut off three of these strips. And leave myself with three. So I'll have a very um, whimsical, not exact. I remember when Piper gave me a stern talking to because I did a, a rainbow in pastel colors and she was like, that is not a rainbow. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let's stick this top layer. I'm gonna just put this piece of scratch paper in here. Oh no, wait, that's not the one I want. Where did my rainbow go? Seriously, what should I do with it? Hey, rainbow run away. Guys, you must have seen it fly away somewhere, did you? There it is. Sneaky, sneaky. A school not tired you out? Uh, you'd think it would, but apparently not. Okay. So I'm gonna put the top one on there and do that. Right, actually, pause. This is the part where Leslie needs to plan out the card. I'm going to work on a, a five and a half by four and a quarter A2 card base, which is my go-to. This is going to go in the middle, so it's pretty much going to take up a chunk of the space. Um, and then we'll reveal the rainbow. So the rainbow is going to be like here when it's revealed. And my thought was, I wonder if we could have some sort of, we can't have anything blocking the, um, the handle, if that makes sense. Handle's gonna be like this. 
So we could have um, an area come across like this. So I'm thinking of the um, cloudy skies dies. And there's one that goes down in the middle like this, which I think would work lovely jubbly. Let's see. So something like this, maybe. Let me just pull the other ones out in case any of these ones would work better. That one works quite well. I'm going to do it high because I can always move it down and trim off a section of the end. This is one of those figure it out as we go along situations. <laughs> Run it through the die cutting machine. <laughs> Yells, yells, says, hi, Piper. I will pass on your comments. She did say to me that she wanted to do a stream this week, but with everything at school, drama llamas, it uh, just didn't pan out, I'm afraid. Oh, stranger. So I think that's going to be a little bit too high. I think we're probably going to have to move it down so we can see this handle down here and reveal the rainbow. It does mean that the rainbow will be kind of sitting in midair rather than tucked behind a cloud maybe. We'll see what it, we'll see what we can do with that. Let's add another. Hello, Shalom from Israel. Hello. Hello love to create. So I'm going to do, if I line this card here up with the bottom of my die, then I'll get a kind of an idea of where I want my dies to be, how high we want this panel to be. Let's see. My original plan was maybe I could have a little unicorn. This unicorn and rainbows is a thing um, but then I thought maybe I could have the fairies with the fairy magic wand that would also be super cute I think I suppose we could have the fairy and the um, the unicorn or is that just crazy what's your thoughts guys Hi Lenny Gaming. Oh Lenny Gaming is now following. Hey, thanks. Lenny Gaming, if you hear me talking to people um, that you can't see, it's because I'm streaming on multiple platforms. So I'm on um, YouTube, Facebook, um, Twitch and Mixer. And um, a lot of the people are on YouTube. That's where the, that's where a lot of the the combos tend to be. All right, that's the same as that one. That's the same as that one. This will be the missing one. So I'm gonna take this piece and flip it over. Same again. And I'm gonna make sure that there's enough room down here to create, uh, to stamp a sentiment because I think that's where my sentiment's gonna have to go for this one. Sarah Louise says, yeah, 
got both. <laughs> Put them both on there. Maybe the little fairy could be riding a uh, unicorn. But really, why would a fairy need to ride a unicorn? Because a fairy can just fly. Surely that is like super lazy of a fairy if they if they fl if they ride a unicorn. But then again, I guess maybe that's a bit like what saying why would someone take a bus whenever they can just walk? <laughs> like maybe maybe they just want to feel the the wind through their fairy hair. So we have this and then this opens up like that. Okay, so we could have a unicorn and we could have, oh look, she could be like feeding him or coming down to see him. And she could go here as long as, oh, actually, what we could maybe do is cut off this section here and have her hanging over the top, which will mean that there's a little bit more room for this handle. So we can whoop -de -whoop -de, and it'll be white behind. Um, so I think we're gonna need to ink up some clouds and ink up these little guys. And I think I'm going to want a wand as well. Let me go out my misty because I'm going to just stamp all of these guys at the same time for, for ease. Uh, give me a sec, I just need to find my paper for um, colouring. I don't know what I've done with it. Random. Because I'm going to use my um, I have to use this one, it's a bit thicker than the one I normally use, but it'll do. Because I want to use my alcohol markers, because it's nice and quick and easy. I want to make sure that I have some cardstock that is alcohol marker friendly. All right, so the other thing is if we wanted to have Candy says, yes, both. <laughs> Nancy, hey, Nancy. Walking home from work. How was friendlies tonight? Is it fun? So I have a stamp, which is a mama elephant one, and it has unicorns on it. And it says something about a unicorns and rainbows kind of day. So that might be perfect. Sending you wishes for a rainbows and unicorns kind of day. Sounds like the perfect one for us. I just want to make sure that we can still fit these little cutie patooties in. I think we'll make it work. We will. We'll make it work. Okay, I'm not going to worry about stamping that just yet, but I will keep them out if I don't use it. All right, so I'm using my Misty tool, which is a stamp platform or stamping tool. Picks them all up at once and then I can get inky. And Memento was at the top of the drawer, so that's going to be the winner for today. I have been using the Ink on 3 Blackout ink. And I've been really liking it. The only thing is, um, I feel like I have to have be a little bit of a lighter hand with it because it's a brand new ink pad, so it's a bit juicier. Just a. Uh... All 
I'll do a double, double sample. Most of these are fine. She's just a little bit uh, lighter than the others. Now she's nice and dark. Yes, yes, says reminding me of Care Bears again. It's because of the clouds. The clouds are like, clouds are very Care Bear-esque, aren't they? I think so. But I quite like that you're being reminded of the Care Bears because um, the Care Bears, like, that's just happiness, man. Like, you know, I think. I remember, you know Avon? You know Avon, the little catalog thing? My mum used to have an Avon lady which lived across the road, or down the road a wee bit. And um, <laughs> she would go over there, I guess probably once a month, to go have a cup of tea and go through the Avon book and place an order and pick up what she, she, she pick up what she ordered the last time. And every time I went with her, the uh, her name was Edna, the lady, she's lovely, Edna. And she had a son that was my age and a, and a daughter that was my sister's age, a bit older. Um, but she would have some VHS videos and she would have the um, Care Bears. So I remember going over there and getting super excited about Care Bear, because it was a Care Bear movie I think she had. So every month, it was like my Care Bear fix. <laughs> you need to go to Edna's and get my Care Bear fix on. Okay, so I've sliced off that bit there. And then we're gonna layer these up. But my card's looking really, really white at the moment. Quite frankly, is unacceptable. So, um, I want to add some color. So, I will want my wheel. So, the front of my wheel and the background, I think. Oh, maybe. Oh, does it look like a sun? Does it look like a sun? I'm not sure. Oh. Maybe it looks like a sun. You could pretend it's the sunshine. But then it might look kind of weird whenever we reveal it. Like if we reveal this, like this. Da -da 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 -da. It looks like the rainbow sitting in front of a random scallop red thing. Right, so yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll just keep it white. <laughs> keep it white and then whenever we reveal it. we have the, um, a rainbow that pops out. What do you think? We have a colorful rainbow, white on white, and then we'll add some color to these ones. <laughs> Nancy said, I made good tips today. Spent a lot at Mama Elephant Party last week. Good for you. Okay, so. What color shall we go for? I'm thinking cracked pistachio because I love a bit of cracked pistachio. And I don't think cracked pistachio has yet made it to my craft a day cards over there, I'm not sure. I just want a little tone on tone. So I'm gonna start at the top Still going to be fairly white. Just don't want it all being white. Hopefully, then this will. Kind of looks more like grass now, but I'm fine with that. To stop crossing my legs because that's where my back gets sore. Guys, I've had a song in my head all week 
and um, it's been one one of those songs where you're like da 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 you can you can da 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 it but you're not quite sure what the lyrics are and you're not quite sure what the um what what uh, the, the name is or even who sings it but uh, you have to try and do your best so we've been trying to ask you know the uh, the echo that we have amazon echo thing that we have you know what's a song that goes like this and then inevitably she's like maybe it's this no we just found it out yesterday what it was it's um it's the song grace kelly by miko mika something like that but it's been in my head all week all week guys what do you think And then this is going to be a cute little rainbow. So next up, rainbow and it times out if I don't press the button because it's super impatient. Um, I'm going to go for some uh, soft tones for this, I think. Um, actually. Try sponge sugar, but I'm probably gonna have to go a little bit darker. Sponge sugar is really light. Maybe it'll work. Oh no, don't break on me. clouds and rainbows is this about this old helmet is this about helmets asks this old helmet no i don't think it would be about helmets Ooh, something exciting to share nothing to do with helmets though sorry um is that piper has an inset day coming up uh soon at school and um i promised her that we would try and do something exciting and we are! We're going to go into London and um, we're going to go see Matilda in the theatre. Yay! So she's been wanting to see that for ages and ages and she loves the Roald Dahl books and she <laughs> dressed up as Matilda last year for World Book Day. So it's always been something that's kind of been on our to-do list, but then never really gotten around to doing. But that changes now. Yay! Yells Yells says, I like Memento. I also like Memento. Memento is, um, is definitely like my go-to. My go I'm actually going to take a new piece in case that gets a little I don't want it to bleed um yeah memento is definitely my go-to for the longest time and I have tried some others like I bought the spectrum noir ones is that what they're called spectrum noir ones and I was like oh let's try this let's see if memento is being knocked out of number one spot but no, right back to my memento. And uh, what was the other one? The Versa, Versa Fine Claire. Tried that one as well. And it's definitely better in certain situations. I'm going to go for a little shaded lilac. Mm. 
There we go. What do you think? Cute. Hi, Bun. That's the musical my sister is helping to produce at her high school. Nice. I frequently have songs from musicals playing in, uh, in the craft room, so Piper is familiar with quite a lot of the, uh, the songs and everything, so. Okay. So, this is going to be something like this. I think. Hello. How are you? My hey. screen's a bit dark because I zoomed in. Mm. If I zoom out, it gets lighter again. I don't turn up too bright. Craig will shout at me. Here's your water. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty Bed says, are you a female? If you turn sideways, then you should be able to see. <laughs> yeah. This much is true. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna actually, cause I'm gonna need to stick this one up a layer so that it moves nice and freely. So this one's actually gonna be all stuck together. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these together. And we want to make sure, well, for a start, we need to line them up. And I want to make sure that we're hiding the uh, any sort of messy area over here. All good, all good. And actually, before I do anything with this, I'm going to stamp it up. Candy says, hi, Craig. Hmm? So you're kicking, kicking people out because they asked me if I was female. Rude. If you can't tell that my wife's a female, <laughs> you're out of here. <laughs> Actually, whenever I'm... <laughs> Probably shouldn't tell you this. <laughs> nah. This is the point where you stop. This is the point where I stop, is it? Nah, never. I'm not that smart. Um, whenever I was in, I think it was first year? of school so like 13 we went to the summer school uh excuse me no Fuck. you're really gonna use my uh fisker scissors on a ranger <laughs> at least use the ranger scissors <laughs> on the ranger anyway we went to the summer school it was actually nick's summer school and um it was right at the time where Hansen was in the charts with Mbop. You guys know it, and you're welcome for the fact that now you've got an earworm of Mbop. Anyway, and um, people were, were, were saying that I looked like the middle Hansen brother. And I was like, that's exactly what a teenage girl wants to uh, hear. What is it? Craig um, found a, something on Rangers. Chinny chin chin. I think it's just a piece of wood. There you go. Sorted. Well done, Craig Orr. Just put that in the bin. <laughs> Sarah Louise says, oh, did you find your safe hiding place for the HEG refill? I did not. Safe places are, and me, they don't always go. I just ordered some more. <laughs> um, I placed an order from the company, which I get the, um, you know, my foam tape from, because I want, um, you guys are always asking about the foam tape that I use, um, pardon me. And I ordered some foam tape for the store and they sell the ATG refills. So I ordered some, I ordered some more, but the, the, I, I ordered it. I think I ordered a different one. So it's thicker. 
um, and I don't like it as much, but I, I feel like it's a bit yellowier as well, which is not, I'm not so keen on, but it's, it's fine. It, it works really well in the fact that it's really sticky. Okay, this is going to do this. I think I can probably stick my handle on now and then just deal with whatever comes. So let's get my handle on the go. Oh, she's ranger. I'm actually gonna use my ATG because as I just said, it's really sticky. So I needed to go to the end and no more. So like to there. Let's see. To just fold over in the overhang. That's it. And then put this, oops. Sorry, I'm getting my head in here. Down here like this, and it overhangs the edge, and that's all fine. So this is going to go, oh. So that's the only problem there. Do, 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 do. So it kind of catches a little bit here. It catches a little bit here. Maybe a little more powder tool. So there is potential that might catch as well, but we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. Francie's off. Time to go. Can't wait to see the finished card tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And this is going to go up here and at the back. Something like this. And it's going to cover it up like so so the only thing is very green at the bottom and not really up at the top somebody said something yelzio says rainbow in front of the sun it's a card it's a card world that is true it is a card world so anything could happen Maybe what I, right, let's, let's add a little bit gentle shading on the edges. We'll try it. It's a card world. Doesn't have to be perfection. <sighs> but I do need an ink pad that works. <laughs> um, Let's try with squeeze lemonade first of all, because it's quite light. Just do on the edge. Of course, um, even though it is a card world and anything can happen, part of me is now thinking, we need some raindrops in there. It's a rainbow, we need some raindrops in there. We do have a stencil. Rain on my parade stencil. Oh, it'll be perfect. Hope this works, guys, and I haven't just ruined everything. <laughs> we'll make it work. Where 
where's Randolph? I thought Randolph was going to be watching tonight. My friend um, Elizabeth messaged us and said, um, Randolph's, what, Les, Randolph is dead excited about your stream tonight. And then Craig answered with, Elizabeth, can you choose your words more carefully, please? Because on the WhatsApp, um, you know, it brings up the first line of the thing. It just says, Les, Randolph is dead. Which, of course, I think woke Craig up <laughs> as quickly <laughs> as, uh, as anything. So definitely needed his coffee after that. Completely freaked us out. And a little bit of sunshine. Might go a little bit dim. orangier around the edge of this. What do you guys think? Oh, that's what I should do. Yeah. Open it up. a little bit like and by a little bit I mean dried marigold bit you know nothing overly orange not like pumpkin put a critter between the clouds hold on wait. where put a critter where between the clouds stamp um, a fairy on this bit and then as it pulls away she you know has a little fly into the under the clouds could do that do 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 Sunshine on a rainy day. Hi, Leslie. Where can I get your card kit here in America? Um, I'm afraid because we only do limited numbers of the card kits. We um, and also because of pricing, and um, we can't sell it um, to wholesale because um, when we sell something to wholesale, they get it for like half price essentially. So the card kit from that we sell um, is good value because it comes direct from us. We can't sell it. We don't have enough numbers anyway for the card kit to go to um, a retailer. Oh, and so pretty. I definitely think these look like trees now more than, more than um, funky clouds. Give them a little spritz, that's what I need. A little distressing. Don't want you to get overly distressed though. Now that Craig has kindly brought me in some kitchen roll. <gasps> oh no. Yelzia says I've lost my favorite best wishes clear stamp. Which one is it? What's it from? Oh, it's so sad on my hand. I remember, um, I can't remember, I can't remember what stamp set it was, but I remember I lost the letter uh, L from it. And I was so sad. Oh, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. Well, let's skip over that then. I'll mark to that letter at all. So this is gonna go here. This is going to go here. The question is, am I ready to commit to this? Let's do it. Commit. All about the commitments here. So sad. 
for me, like they normally turn up on the on the back of this, and for dies, they normally turn up on the back of my misty. <laughs> That's what happens to me. So this is going to go in like so. Mm. Needs to be. I'm actually going to use this as, as a little aid. And then this is going to go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Maybe we should add some um, add some blue behind here, and maybe maybe that is maybe that is rolling hills. Who's to say? This is card land after all. Who is to say? I definitely think we need a little bit more color at the top now that we've got a lalo sun doesn't look right we can always get another piece of card no problem okay this is going to go here and this is going to go in here like this and it's going to be awesome awesome sauce all right so for this one, if I put it all the way around, we need to raise this up with foam. And you need to make sure that you put it on a place where it's not gonna catch anything. So I am using these sticks to strips. And um, I have some of these in the store, if you're interested. I'm going to put it around the outside. As close to those um, little scallop indentations as I possibly can. So there's a little bit of wiggle room. For this guy. I think I'm going to have to trim this, trim this ever so slightly. I guess this is the good thing, the good thing about having a, a die instead of doing it yourself is that you probably won't have to fiddle around with little things like that. My fault if it's ruined hand, hands up. <laughs> So I'm not sure if any of you guys have um, seen, but the um, the little fairy that we have in the fairy set, uh, this one, has also been made into a enamel pin. Super exciting. Oh, it's getting stuck there. And um, at the moment we have an offer on the store where you can get your hands on the enamel pin. However, if you are part of the 
Heffy Doodlers Facebook group, you might want to check that out because we are giving people, there's a, there's a secret code, Shh, secret. there's a secret code where um, you don't have to do the minimum spend. Ooh. So that's exciting. Okay, I think, so this gets stuck about here, but I actually think it's gonna be fine for what we need. Where's my card? Fairy popping between the layered clouds, says yes, uh, it says yes, yes. Um, hold on. Candy says, your Stumptember set, ah! <laughs> it's been a great Stumptember release so far. Yes, it has. It's been pretty awesome, actually. If you do feel like this is too high now. Do, 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 do. So it can go there easily. It can go further if you push it in a bit. Oh, that's fine. I'm down to there. Yeah, I think we're gonna be able to make this work. Committed! Oh no, it's stuck. There we go. So up, perfect. Let's push this down. There we go. So this needs to go in here and it needs to be hidden like that. So. I'm going to use some, uh, actually I'm gonna use some of my micro dots for this. I was gonna say that I'll use the um, liquid adhesive, but I don't wanna have to wait for it to dry. <laughs> so I'll just use my micro dots for this. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. So now it turns out like a sticker. Very similar to the Xyron machine. Do you guys remember the Xyron machine? It's totes old school now. All right. Ooh. So with this, we wanna probably put some sort of little arrow or something on it. And my fairy's gonna go here. So I'm not gonna really worry about this gap that's over here. And that tucks behind there really nicely. So it doesn't really matter all that much. Yeah. Woohoo. Um, and I might actually reinforce this a little bit more um, on the back slightly so that it's a little bit sturdier because it's gonna be getting a lot of wiggling around and I don't want it to die, you know? I'm impressed that my dog is still out here. Battery. Yaziel says, I have gone on my hands and knees to search for it. Yeah, that'll happen. Okay, I'm going to put some more foam tape down here. In fact, I'm gonna use my big, 
beasties. This one is going to be slightly thicker in regards to depth. So the one that I used here is about a two mil. This one is a three mil. So what that means is it will be raised up slightly. It's not going to be pressing on this, which is kind of what we want, you know? But I do want a little piece up here. I could go and use my thin one, but as Lizzie. So that piece goes there. So it'll come up to at least there, and this one on this side will come up to. piece of my skinny one. Just for there. And that will hold it up a bit. I'm going to commit to that now. A fairy popping between the layered clouds. Yeah, yeah, we'll tuck one in. We will, we'll tuck one in so that it looks like they're in between. Ooh, I need to do my handle before I, probably, before I commit this on top. So another strip of leaves for that one. I hope you find it, the, uh, the stamp that you're looking for. I'm sure we've all been there. Ranger's gone belly up. again. I don't need to go all the way in, but I will go slightly in. This makes it way more sturdier. Right, let's get these little fairies all colored in. So cute. <laughs> Can't wait for your stamp timber set. Oh, what date is it today? The 13th. Can't tell you when it's coming, I'm afraid. But I have seen some others. Um, like the Brutus Monroe one that I saw, I saw that today. It's like a snow globe, it's pretty cool. Hey, buddy. You want to hide? You want to hide? You want to say hello first of all? Come, come. Come on up here, wait a second. Just to say hello. And then I'll let you out for a wee. Come on. Come on. Everybody wants to see ya. You see what a big boy you've got. Not big yet. Oh. Everybody wants to know 
Why did you chew mommy's card? Hmm? Why did you chew mommy's card? Was it tasty? But you don't... Yeah. See big boy? Yeah. Hey everybody! Ranger says hi. Alright. Right guys. Give me two secs while I um let him out for a wee. All right. Past responsibility over to Craig. <laughs> if we follow how they are on the website, it's a few days yet, says Candy. Oh, Candy thinks she's figured out a system, have you? Well, is that system that you think you've followed, that you've figured out, is that, um, has it been true so far, is the question? Oh, I want the nouveau one. The purple is really pretty. I'm not getting any purple yet, so. I did hear that some people were using that system or guessing that system, should I say? Yes, it has. Well then. Brown sugar. Rich mahogany. Ooh, that's very dark. Well, apparently we're gonna go dark. Let's see if I can get something in between to help blend these together. There we go, I'll have to do for her. And then this one. Suzanne says, I love seeing Ranger. Yeah, that's why I... Uh, I like to show him every now and again, so you guys can see him. Let's go for blue and pink hair. Oh no, blue and purple hair, blue and purple hair, pink rainbow, I mean, unicorn. That would be cute. Oh, I'm all upside down. I guess Piper's been in my room. You can always tell when Piper's been crafty. Well, for a start, the whole place is a mess. <laughs> We're hoping maybe, maybe because she's got an inset day on Monday, we might get to do some crafting then. Do a live stream, maybe. Boy, does she love a live stream. I just realized I've forgotten, the, forgotten an ear over there. darker on my purple so it's actually noticeable as a purple probably up here as well actually it's so funny 
and then I'm gonna carry through that green to the scarf with a little tone of yellow because I think my quite pistachio somehow managed to get some yellow in it which is why it looks kind of more uh, minty green rather than a tealy or a turquoisey. All right, let's do this magic wand. Bright yellow. I think we probably have an upside down one. Purple. And then we'll go for another sort of sandy kind of colors maybe. Actually, I like this one. And Y31. Uh, sorry, YR31. There we go. Cuteness, cuteness. Awesome. We might need a couple more berries, etc., to beef out the um, the rest of the design. We'll figure that out when we go that far. I'm going to use my little my little dude for this. This is the Baby Blue by Tattered Lace. I must go and grab the, um, I've got some of the pins over there so you can see them. Cause she's my she my favorite fairy. That was the hardest bit about making the, the enamel pins was um, trying to figure out which image to do. Have you guys got any um, suggestions for other happy doodle images or things that we can turn into enamel pins? I'd love to know. Let me show you. Here it is. How cute is she? Adorbs. So like I said, if you're not already part of the Happy Doodlers Facebook group, Facebook fan group, uh, you might want to go and, and check that out because we have we have behind the scenes photos but we also have also exclusive codes and things every now and again Get the feeling I should have done. An extra fairy. Everything's better in threes, but I thought that because we've got um, a unicorn, I wouldn't need another fairy. But I mean, I should have known. There's no such thing as too many fairies, eh? you're using and where did you get it the purple tape is called purple tape and it is from thermo thermo web uh, or icraft i guess and um, 
this one, these ones came from Thermal Web. Um, to be honest, it's like painters, it's like expensive papers tape, uh, painters tape. And it, it is like, it is a more expensive product. Um, I mostly use my heavy memo tape, but this just, I had this for another, um, my heavy memo tape is a low tax, so I mostly use that for dyes. However, um, the heavy memo tape is low tax, so um, it wasn't, it's not great for stencils. I, it's fine if you're just masking areas, but if you don't want it to move, especially if you're going to be like giving it what for, then you then I use the purple tape because it's a lot tackier. The problem with the purple tape is, especially with the die cutting machine, like a, the electronic die cutting machine, when you pull it off, it can pull off the top layer of your cardstock. So I don't like using the purple tape that much for dies. However, um, I had used this for a stencil, so I have it just sitting on top. So it's just me being lazy. All right, so this one we know is gonna go like here. Here, ta-da! And I want her to stand up a bit so she's not going to be in the way, but I can't have her standing up too much because, and we're already quite thick in regards to a card. Let's do some of these little guys. I'm going to pretty much stick her up by just sticking on uh, sticking stuff onto the bottom. I put one at the very end of her wing. And hopefully that'll stick. Ooh, I did want to add her wand. I'll do that at the end with some wet glue. Uh, Stellar Craft says giveaway. Sure, let's do a giveaway. Good idea. And um, so, We'll do a giveaway for one of the uh, heffy pins, heffy fairy pins. Ta -da! Nice. We're gonna stick this on here. I'll do that at the end though. And I'm actually gonna double that up so it's a bit thicker. So we could do it something like this, tuck her in. We could just have her hanging out and have him there. Originally I'd planned to have him like down here, but I think he would work there better. What do you guys think? Ta -da -da. Obviously we need to do something about this. <laughs> but I think that would work. Let's get some glue dot on the way, on the go. Yay, says uh, <laughs> All right, so for the giveaway, please write, oh, this feels like it's a repositionable one. That's not gonna work for me, is it? Please write down um, a number between one and 50. Go, you get one guess, a number between one and 50. And um, I will write, I'm not gonna look at the screen for a second so that I can make sure that I'm not influenced. I'll write down the, uh, I'll write down a number in just a second. I wonder if we should put her there. No, put her here. And the person closest, or the first person who is the closest, will get a pin. So let's stick these down. So cute. I'm just gonna go on. I'm just gonna go empty my bin. Mm. 
I'm gonna do another one of these. When we were at Junkie Fest, it was uh, the, the little magic wand dies that were a nightmare. It's like, oh no, it's got lost again. Always went walkabouts. Because they're so tiny, they would like stick to people's projects or get caught up in, in, in like the middle of a card or whatever. Okay, let's get some glue in fact oh that's a lot let me Spread this down a little bit and maybe what I can buy. Where's my doodah? Oh, yes, yes, says superheroes. It's a good one, actually. Let's stick this right on top like this. Pinch it together so that it stays. All right, we've got some numbers coming in. Awesome. Ta -da! We need to brighten this up with a little wink of Stella, I do believe. Um, I thought I had a spare wink of Stella and I must have been I must have been dreaming oh, oh, oh what's that what's that oh it's gold no I don't want that super pup would be a great pin oh yes the flying one or the sitting one that's a question all right are we ready are we ready to find out who the winner is everybody got their numbers in do, 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 do. The winner. Well, the winning number is 22. I'll let you guys do the uh, the hard work and figure out what, who the winner is while I color in some areas with my Wink of Stella glitter brush marker. To add a little sparkle. And I'm also going to cover the rainbow with it as well. I'm going to need a little bit of time to dry that out, I think. a little bit uh candy said 23 candy you're the winner yay okay so the drill is you have to go to um heifer.com will work fine actually Heffydoodle.com and there is a, I want to say, it's either called contact me or get in, get in touch. I always forget what it's called. 
I always say the wrong one, but then I forget which one is the right one. It's either get in touch or contact us or contact me. Um, click on that, write the message. I will in the pin, here's my address and give me your address. And then I will send it in the post to you. Yay! Well done. Congratulations. How exciting. All right, guys. I think this turned out super cute. Do you think we need anything else? Do we need to add anything else to um to it? Um, I'm going to obviously add a little arrow thing to this, I think, to move it up and down. I don't know whether we want a sentiment here or we want any other like little, maybe some stars or something scattered around might be super cute, like little tiny stars. Ooh, actually, I've got a Technic Tuesday stamp in here, which is like, I think it's like little bits or something. And I always find it really cute for um, adding tiny elements. Oh, it's actually called W plus nine or from W plus nine, not from Tiny Tuesday at all. I knew it was near the end of my once upon a time alphabetical thingy my bobby. Stars would be nice. Oh, a happy snappy croc snowman or penguin would be good pins too. Yeah, that's true. Don't know whether they'd be done in time for Christmas or near enough. Yeah, they probably would actually. Just depends. Let's add some stars and some sparkles. Oh, come on, where are you? Just looking for a little spun sugar oxide, which has run away from me. Hmm. Uh oh, see no idea what it is. Victorian velvet. All right, then we'll have to bypass the uh, oxides and go for something different, I guess. We'll go for, what's this? This one is called Twirling Tutu. Oh, I feel like my stamp is a bit on the yellow side, so let's uh, go a little bit darker. Yeah. That's better. Go for a bigger one as well, maybe. Stump probably. And then a little twinkle in a blue tone. What's this? Ooh, that's a very Interesting color. Hmm. 
mint macaroon. That one is from Nouveau. I do feel like this is very like empty now, if you know what I mean. Maybe I need to find something to go on top. Sentiment maybe. Uh, and let me get let me get an arrow for this. Where do I have an arrow? Have a mooch through. See what I can find. me or whatever it's called has an arrow. Let's have a mush push push here. It does have an arrow. Like this. So let's cut. Probably gonna cut two but I'll do one at a time. So uh, before that all happened, Lucy had some, said something about, I use a memo tape a lot when die cutting, but I see so many people using purple tape, just wondered what it was. Thank you. Uh, Yell says, I don't have enough time for all my creativity. I have so many crafty projects to do and I love painting and drawing and yeah, that's the problem. Fitting it all in. For me, it's like fitting it all in and trying to run a business. <laughs> Challenging. But I'm sure everybody's doing their own thing. Oh, we could use this. Nah. Nah. How are we doing for time? Not too bad. Okay, so we could have it like this. And this actually means that we could uh, trim it off here. Yeah, that's not going any further. So it will actually fit better on a on a in an envelope because for a few moments there I was just gonna forget about the fact that I need an envelope. <laughs> Meh. Who needs envelopes, huh? However, I'm going to follow through with the cracked pistachio color. Be a nice little tie in for our minty cloud slash rolling hills. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you are. bit. Committing to that.
All right. So we've got our arrow and then we turn it around to here to reveal our rainbow. What do you think you guys? Maybe we need to stamp on here with um, one of the sentiments that says like, turn me or something. Let's slide open. Um, Happy Doodle has some other ones as well. Let's have a look what we've got. Slide me. Spin me, squeeze me, slide, probably slide me. Maybe this one's gonna be better. That's too big. Slide, slide me. I think this one's probably a better size. Hopefully I don't screw it up. But if we do, we'll make it work. Oh, I did screw it up. Silly me. That's okay, everything's fixable. Would have been the wisest thing to do anyway. But when am I ever wise? I just take the shortcut. Eh, wipe that on there. Don't seem to have a wipey anymore. No, because this is inked up and stamped, I'm not putting purple tape on it. Too much of a risk. But the memo tape will be fine. Happy memo tape. Last few drops before a rainbow. Raindrops. Oh, raindrops. Yay! Where do you want me to put the raindrops? All right. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, I think it's so cute. Do you like it? Let me zoom in. Don't need you anymore. So here we have sending you wishes for rainbows and unicorns kind of day. And then we have a slide me element here. Which results in 
a beautiful rainbow. You can kind of see there's a slight shimmer on it and on their wings and on this little guy. I'm actually gonna darken up his eye. So the last thing I'm gonna do Second last, one thing Piper always does is add the clear jelly roll around stamps and things like that, which actually looks really pretty cool. I'm not gonna go around the stamps, but I'm gonna add a couple of little sparklies. Just to help pick up the light. A little bit. There we go. So pretty. I love it. So if you like the idea of this, but thought that it was too complicated to follow along, <laughs> then have a little look at uh, Mama Elephant. They have got um, a die which will do the hard work for you. But if you're up for the challenge, then, you know, watch back and uh, I'm sure you will be able to make one like this as well. Okay. I am going to leave it there for tonight because I am still um, supposed to be resting. Still on painkillers and whatnot for my dodgy back. Not too bad at the moment, but uh, certainly quit while you're ahead kind of territory. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Congrats to Candy for um, winning tonight's giveaway we'll get a little pin in the post to you soon and um i shall see you guys soon i guess make sure you hit the bell if you want to be notified i think we're going to be doing some streams with piper in the next few days as well <laughs> hey tally tally's like yay managed to catch you and i'm like sorry dude i'm <laughs> finishing up hey tally look da -da -da -da. <laughs> Cute little fairies, and little unicorn, and a surprise rainbow. Yay! Good night, yells, yells. Good night, Wendy, and love to create Suzanne and Candy and all the rest. Thanks very much for joining us, and I shall see you guys next time whenever you come and craft with me. Bye, everybody. Bye. Love you all. Have a great weekend. Bye.